Harry's surprised reaction to romantic Valentine's Day gesture for Meghan. And the royal is a true romantic. Valentine's Day is certainly special for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This year, the couple surprised the world when they announced their pregnancy joy on the most romantic day of the calendar. The date the 14th of February also marked 37 years since Princess Diana confirmed her pregnancy with Harry. On that historic day, royal watchers were delighted to see the news on the front pages of national newspapers. The chosen reveal of their latest pregnancy is in part, a touching tribute to Diana. And it is extra fitting that this will be Meghan's second child, as Harry was Diana's. Since Prince Harry and Meghan confirmed they are expecting their second child, an old throwback picture has emerged online. The photo itself shows Harry visiting the Arctic Circle on his first Valentine's Day as a married man. Although they celebrated their first one as a married couple apart, Harry made sure Meghan wasn't too far from his thoughts after creating a shrine dedicated to them. A tiny makeshift glue dug into the snow-housed framed images from their May 2018 wedding day with candles and soft music to welcome Harry to the Quincy shelter, where he met Lance Corporal Lee Lovac and air engineering technician Kevin Burns. You weirdos, Harry joked when he spotted the tribute. It's very kind of you to invite me into your private shrine, or whatever you want to call it. And the music, is that part of it? Very romantic. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan are already parents to one-year-old Archie, who was born in May 2019. And given their incredible rapport with children, it's no wonder that there's going to be a new addition to their family. The couple hasn't been back to the UK since their final round of royal engagements in March 2020. Meghan and Prince Harry's new addition may mean a change in their travel plans. The couple, who announced on Sunday that they are expecting their second child, has not returned to the UK since their move to California with son Archie, 21 months, last year. They were last in the UK in March 2024 a final round of royal engagements. Before stepping down as working members of the royal family and before the pandemic restricted travel. It was previously believed that Prince Harry and perhaps Meghan and Archie would visit the UK in June if safe travel was possible. Queen Elizabeth will turn 95 in April, with the annual public celebration of her birthday, Trooping the Colour, taking place in June. The festivities were scaled down last summer due to the pandemic, Harry's grandfather Prince Philip, who is currently in the hospital after feeling unwell, is also marking a milestone birthday in June, his 100th. But with Meghan's newly announced pregnancy, understands Prince Harry is determined to at least make it back to the UK. For the long-awaited unveiling of the statue to his mother, Princess Diana, that's taking place at Kensington Palace in July. That is the event he is hoping to be able to return for, those close to him say. However, no travel arrangements have been solidified for the spring or summer. Harry and his brother Prince William are expected to team up for the event to commemorate what would have been the late princess's 60th birthday. Meghan and Harry announced on Sunday that they are expecting a little sibling for Archie months after revealing that they suffered a miscarriage last July. The couple was hopeful that they would get pregnant again. And they were overjoyed that it happened so quickly, a close source to the couple tells in this week's issue. Still, after the devastating miscarriage, they were both nervous. And it took them a while before they could relax and fully enjoy this pregnancy, the sources. Meghan and Harry who will sit down with Oprah Winfrey for an intimate conversation. Airing on the 7th of March on CBS announced their pregnancy news with a stunning black and white photo. That was taken remotely via iPad by their friend and longtime photographer, Miss Anne Harriman. A smiling, and barefoot, Harry looks lovingly at Meghan, who cradles her baby bump as she rests in his lap. They are besotted parents, and they can't wait to share that even more with a second child. A royal insider tells. They are both so happy to have their little family. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like? share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.